Aspiring dancer and Bali Mabuse claims codeine helped her get off crystal meth. I went through a lot of stress because of drugs. So ever since I'm taking me, I'm not even thinking about going and buying crystal meth because it's like 50 bucks a bag. So when I get like 50 bucks, I just think of, ah, let me get myself something. She was addicted to the drug and says it destroyed her life and career. When I first woke up, I just feel like smoking weed first and then I take lean at about 12 o'clock, that's when I start. And then according to the way I take it, I take it like four to five times a day. Yeah. She was introduced by friends and soon fell for the overcounter drug seduction. It was like I was drinking a, a cool drink only, even though there was a little bit taste of the codeine. But then, yeah, it's drinkable. Like it cleared my chest because your crystal meth damaged me. Mbali also drinks a whole bottle almost every day. I take it and pour it on a two liter coke, the whole of it, and then I shake it. Then I drink it all. When I have it and then come to a result, like I feel now I'm performing on the stage, performing to a lot of people, showing off my thing, what I love. Like I'd be more, I become more positive actually. We shouldn't ignore the, the problem of young people misusing codeine products, particularly the co codeine um, which is sold in syrup form, such as Benelin cough syrups. Mbali is one of thousands of South Africans addicted says Prof. Charles Parry from the Medical Research Council. Basically, we're talking of, say, on average, about 2% of the adult population of South Africa. If the population of South Africa is about 60 million, we could have as many as 600,000 people in South Africa who are misusing codeine products. Abuse that results in serious health risks, including liver and kidney disease. He says it's time we clamp down. We also need to look at the drivers of these codeine products that are that are not just driven by the individual users, but also driven by profits by the, by the industry.